Tim, their goals, especially in the first half, all from distance, guys with a lot of space defensively, kind of what went wrong? Yeah, I think, um, you know, a couple of them came down to first and second balls that we weren't aggressive enough to step in and win. And then, yeah, I mean, when, when you're not closing the ball down from from a certain distance, you know, they have good enough players to, to, to punish you. So uh, I think we definitely felt the brunt end of that tonight. And just looking at the way the last three games have gone now, lots of goals, not, you know, what do you guys got to do to snap out of this? Yeah, you know, I think as a group, we have to, we have to really reset. You know, I think there's – the good thing about this is now it's a two-game series for us. You know, I mean, now we have to look at it as, as two games that we still have to win. So um, we have to – obviously, we'll be in tomorrow. We'll look at film and stuff. We'll look at a couple of different things. But I think we really need to have a hard look at how we want to play together as a team going into, these next, going into this next game. And definitely not something you want to focus on, but just kind of the irony of being the first regular season goal scorer in franchise history and the first postseason goal scorer in franchise history. Did you ever have that on your your career goals? Um, no, no, definitely not. Um, thankful to get the goal uh, to get us back into the game for a little bit, but I think um, yeah, you know, obviously disappointed that it, it didn't spark a little bit more for us. And so I asked Carnell the same question, Coach Carnell. Excuse me. When you think about next week, is it tactical changes or is it really just execution that, that could get you over the line? Yeah, I think, I mean, in my eyes, I think it's execution. I think it's execution and and just giving a, giving 10% more. You know, I mean, you look at it now, I mean, next week is do or die. You know, ne no questions about it. I mean, we have to win that next game and we have to bring that the third game back to City Park. So for us, um, that extra effort, that extra bite, whatever you want to call it, I think we need to bring that. Yeah, you know, it's it's tough because there's a lot of them. Um, but you have to try to encourage everyone through the process, you know, even even right now. Um, fortunately, I think the best part is is that it's not aggregate. You know, we don't have to worry about um, the aggregate side of things. So right now, like I said, it's kind of just focusing on this next game and, and trying to bring that third one back here. Hey, Tim. Uh, Coach Carnell pointed out the, the possession. You guys, like, had the ball more than you normally do. Can you describe how that affected the overall game? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure I'm sure Kansas City was okay with us having the ball to a certain degree. Um, I think at moments we, we want to be on the ball and we want to be able to be good on the ball, but we also want to be able to threaten, and I don't think we are threatening them enough. Um, and that's where you kind of see we're giving the ball away in bad areas, and that kind of punishes us. So... Um, when we have the ball, we have to still stick to kind of putting the game on our terms, and I think we have to do a better job of that too. Thank you. Julie? Obviously, it was a really tough result tonight, but how much hope does it give you guys to know that this is a team that you guys can be and have beat comfortably before? Yeah, you know, I think, um, yeah, I mean, the locker room knows that we can, we, we've beaten this team before, so there's definitely hope in that, in that aspect for sure. And is it, you know, kind of talked about before, but is it harder that you guys have played them so many times before and then you have to pay them potentially a, a fifth and then a sixth time again? Um, not necessarily. You know, I think um, there's, I mean, there's not much for us to do scouting wise. You know, I think we know who we're going to play against. We know what we're going to get. Um, like I said, it just comes down to execution and that little bit of effort. And I mean, especially in the playoffs, you have to be willing to give a little bit more. And I think um, that they felt, that I felt that they gave a little bit more than we did tonight. Next, we'll go to John Lupo. Uh, Tim, it seemed like on the first couple of goals, since you're talking about execution, that you gave them maybe a little bit too much space to work the ball in and get in good position. Did you feel? Did you see it the same way, or was something different that allowed them to get those chances and score those goals? Yeah, kind of like I said, I think um, just not winning the first and second balls. And then that kind of puts us in a little bit of a weird spot um, positionally when they're able to switch the field. And then, you know, we're recovering backwards and trying to reset our press um, in a different way. So I think uh, winning those first and second balls, being aggressive to start off with definitely will put us in a better position. Yeah. 
after you scored the goal to tie it and the stadium's buzzing and it, was that one of those key moments where you guys have pulled, you know, tied the game, you're right back in it and they come down and score. There was like a turning point in the game right there. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess so. You know, I think obviously we, we, we always believe that we can, you know, we're a good team from behind. So I feel like we can find, we can find ways to get our, to get the back into games. But, um, when we, when we get the momentum that we got and then we give it away, it's a little bit, um, yeah, it's a little bit deflating, but we have to be able to fight through those moments, especially in playoffs. And just so we could appreciate it, what was it like out there with between the rain and the cold and the fans? What was it? How did it feel out there? Yeah, I mean, it felt like a playoff game. You know, it really did. You know, I think the fans were un incredible tonight. Um, the weather played exactly how I thought it would. You know, I mean, it made the field really nice. The ball was moving good. Um, and yeah, you know, it felt like no, it felt like November soccer, which is uh, you like to be playing in November for sure. And do you think this team getting through this and coming back out this morale wise or whatever, this is uh, something that can be dealt with? Yeah, of course. You know, I don't I don't question the morale of the group or the the attitude or the fight of the group at all. You know, I think it's just realizing moments in games when we can really put our foot on the gas or when we have to kind of regroup and do things as a unit. And I think that those are the kind of things that, especially in the playoffs, make or break you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks, Richard. I appreciate your time. No problem. Thank you, guys.